Hi, this is Alan Serkum from Hi-Fi Plus magazine. We're here today in Warsaw in Poland to see the Audio Video Show 2023. Uh, this show is split across three venues across Warsaw. And today we're concentrating on the National Stadium, National Sports Stadium, where we think there's going to be some great stuff to see. Look forward to it. Let's see what we can see. Jacek Kaunski, uh, I'm uh, a part of the Audio Emotion. We are a new distributor of the audio group to Denmark in Poland. Uh, actually, we are very proud of having the uh, top line system from Audio Group Denmark this year in the audio show. Uh, what we've got here is the really high end notch of uh, what the Danish guys can deliver. We've got the M6 speaker, and that's an absolutely a European premiere of that speaker. It was only seen once, I think, in the US uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, that's a top line speaker which uh, delivered a lot of the new technology, which is very, very, very interesting. And uh, I really took uh, an hour for uh, what's there, but perhaps we don't have a time. What else we have is uh, we have a, a, a almost ready prototype version of, uh, almost ready for a production prototype version of the streamer and DAC. Uh, from a company called uh, Avic, that's a SD880. That is a, a very new approach for a, the digital to analog converter by Michael Borensen. We've got the C280, which is a pre-amplifier, which is equipped with the analog uh, filtering, which I think Michael will cover just in a minute. Then we've got the uh, um, horizontal uh, B amplification with the P280 power amplifiers. Everything is uh, hooked up with the ANSUS cable from the top line uh, gold signature. And I think, Michael, a few words about that analog filtering in C280. Yeah, I think that uh, when we go on shows, we always see or often see that rooms are a little bit problematic. So uh, on, on, on the M6 and the M3, we have uh, implemented uh, uh, two section crossovers. And that means that we have the option of adding in an analog uh, crossover. Now, they are, they, they, when you have an analog circuit, you don't have any latency issues. If you take a DSP, it, you have a delay maybe 20 milliseconds or something like that. That makes it very hard, I would say impossible, to make a subwoofer follow the music. But when you have an analog crossover, this is possible. So on this uh, uh, control amplifier, we have a dual slope crossovers where the high pass and the low pass can be controlled independently. And that means if we run into a room where we have a room issue, 80 hertz, then we can make the low cut uh, at 70 hertz and the high cut at 90 hertz, creating a suck out where we have the room issues. And that's a very analog way of doing room correction, basically. But that can allow for a very smooth bass response and even in difficult rooms. Now this room is not difficult, so we don't use it like that here. But here we get the benefit of having two uh, uh, powerful amplifiers and we can relieve the, the mid-range and from, from having to see the impedance variation and the back EMF from the lower drivers uh, because we put it out in two different amplifiers. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.